there. Okay, just leave it right there, and I'm just going to talk to him. Yep. Right, go get it. All right, One Eagle is going to go get another um, light source out of the car because you've already drained our camera. We're here at the Submarine Museum in St. Mary's, Georgia, and we're talking to someone named John. He said he's a very loving, nice guy. Tell us more about yourself, John. We're listening now. Were you in the Navy? Okay, so you, when you came back, your wife had had an affair with someone named Murphy. Was he a friend of yours, or did you know him? John's telling me about a situation that took place when he got back okay. from his military duty. That his wife or girlfriend was having an affair with someone named Murphy. And he said he was very loving and kind to her. He doesn't understand why this happened. I'm sorry that happened. Can you tell me anything about your military duty? What rank were you? Okay, repeat please. Jonathan, repeat what you said. Yes. We know. We're not scared. We understand. He said human. He doesn't want us to be afraid. We understand. I'm going to open up another lock. I'm sorry I interrupted. Go ahead. She lied. He's upset about his wife. Yes. She's... You know, it's because you were gone so long. Is that what she told you is the reason? I'm feeling cold behind you. Okay. I just want you... There's a wheelchair. So you tried to make things better? But you... What happened? Whoops, I really can't see where I'm going. Okay, that's... I know there's a lot of artifacts back here and pictures. Is any of this you? Or is there anybody else here who wants to tell me about their equipment and stuff that's back here? Or pictures? We'd love to hear from you. And Jonathan, if we can help you, just keep telling us. We'd love to talk to you about what, what it is that you need. I'm sorry about your wife. I know it happens to a lot of military people. And we want to thank you for your for your duty and all of your hard work. Mentor, teacher. Yes. This is 2013 now. Did you know that? Rabbit. Let that all. You can. Five years. Lost marriage. Lost marriage. He lost. He just said lost marriage. Still talking to Jonathan. Jonathan, can you direct? Okay, so your uncle's in the military too. Century. Century. Okay. Information. Okay, so he was shot. His uncle was shot. Round. He was short and round. Are you saying he was kind of overweight? Ready. Can this. He was young. He said his a young friend, I guess. Was he hurt too? Okay. So what work? He died quickly. That's good. What? 
He died, but he's returned. Stones. Oh, he, he went to see his grave. Okay, he said he would like a cleansing. Okay, we can do that. Alright. We can help you. I smell something. Is that you? Is that your cologne or... Okay. Can you tell us where you're like... Where you... Change later. Okay. I just heard a noise back here. There's, I hear footsteps back here. If there's anyone else here, can you like RK2, please? Okay. Thank you for telling us your story. Well, this is a very active place here at the Submarine Museum in St. Mary's, Georgia. Um, there's a lot of artifacts here and a lot of history. At the same time, it seems like there's a lot of spirits here that are uh, excited about telling their story. So, um, what we're going to do now is just walk into the rest of the uh, museum and just take a few more pictures. Jonathan, is there anything else you want to say before we turn off the camera? Because our camera only works in the dark. Is there anything else you want to say? Thank you for talking to us, and I'm sorry about your wife. And just know that our prayers are for you and for your your uncle, for you guys to find peace. Company. Outside. Highway. Story. Return. Country. Okay. <laughs> okay. Between. Yes, we're having a conversation. Okay. Museum. So were you okay? Were you part of this 15? There's 15 of you in here. There's a lot of um, the military people because of that museum. It's right downstairs, and I think that a lot of things that belong to them are there. And their stories need to be told. Um, and I think they come here about anything. Is that camera pointed toward the K2? Okay. We are at 82 degrees. So we've come down 3 degrees. I'm starting to, my hand's starting to tickle. Are you trying to, to say something? The, the, the 15 spirits that are in here, are you still here? Is that why I feel so crowded in here? 
Do you ever go over to Cumberland Island to see the wild horses? Okay, we're getting a point one. Mariner. Okay. Is that is a point two? Okay, so you are effort. They're making an effort, they said. Alright, that's good. Point four. We're starting to raise our energy. That's very good. Thank you very much. Go ahead, talk to me. Tell me what you want me to know. Okay, I'm feeling heat. Like right in front of me. Is that you? Because a lot of times energies will feel either really hot or really cold. This one's feeling really hot. Was there a fire aboard your ship? 1.7, 1.8, 1.9. Is the fire how you died? Was there a torpedo shot at your ship that caused you to die? Were there fires on board? That's what I'm getting in my mind. Okay. How many of you were on that ship that died? Do you know? 1.8. How many of you are here that were on that ship that died in this room right now? One point nine. Can you raise that all the way up to a 2.0 for me, please? 1.8, 1.7. Okay. 1.6. I want to thank you for your service to your country. I want to tell you we appreciate everything that you did. I know that was probably a horrible way to die. Um, I know there was a lot of fear uh, at the time of death. There was a lot of pain. And I just want to tell you that uh, if there's anything we can do pray for you now and hope that you can go into the light and have fine peace there. That's what you deserve. And if you want to come back here and visit, you can certainly visit, but uh, it's better to be healed first. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like you stayed behind because some of your guys did 1.8, and I think that you felt like you weren't supposed to leave them, but what you need to do is take them with you into the light. I think you can, 1.9, I think that you can do that because I think they'll listen to you. I think you were the higher rank. Am I correct on that? Can you light my lights or say, tell us? Are you the higher rank? Ranking officer? Sir? It is the best thing you can do to tell your men that their time of duty is now over and they're on, on permanent leave. They may go enjoy themselves with their family members who have crossed before them. 1.9, 2.0. I want all of you to feel that it is your opportunity now, if you so wish to go into that, that beautiful place with your family members who are waiting for you. Leave no man behind. All go together. Or think, it's a think, okay? You can think about it and you can do whatever you decide is best, I know that you will do the right thing. Arrive. Does that mean you see the light? I'm getting really hot over here. Really hot. It's okay. Factors. Okay. I know it takes a while to get everybody together. They're probably spread out throughout the town. Maybe this building. Um, take as many as you can. I, I feel like they're touching me. I, I really feel like that there are several men here, 1.8, that really do want to go, that they're tired of suffering. Okay. 
Again, thank you for your service to our country. Is there any 2.0? Is there any 2.1? Rewind. What do you mean by that? So I have to do the camera before we go to the cemetery. Oh, okay. He has to rewind before we yeah. go to the cemetery. Thank you for... Were you the tech guy on, on the boat that just told us that? we got nine minutes on this one. Okay, we got nine minutes left. We'll, we'll come back for those who are staying. For those who are leaving, bon voyage. Enjoy yourselves. You deserve it.